All right, in this tutorial video, we're going to talk about playing around. We're going to actually play around with these animals, a generic animal and a cat. Um, and you're going to see a little bit more about how um, inheritance works. So in order to do that, I'm going to make some changes to our runner class or some additions. All we have right now is a public static void and main method in the runner class. Um, we're just going to have two more methods down below. And these just have to be static because uh, it doesn't. the class itself is going to call them. So public static void print stuff and this is going to take a generic animal and print out all its attributes and we're just going to call that generic animal A just to save time we're going to also have the exact same method and remember I said that you can create multiple methods with the same name as long as they take different parameters so we're going to have this one take a cat and we'll just call that C um, now, I have these methods actually over in different projects, so I'm just going to copy that stuff um, so that you can, so that you don't have to watch me type it. So, in the runner class, so we're just going to copy this, we're going to paste this stuff. Okay, so I'll talk through it, what it's doing though. Okay, so this one, the, the print stuff for a generic animal says system.out.println. This generic animal's name is a.getName. That's, you know, whatever was passed over to it, go ahead and get the name and print it out. Then it says, uh, you know, the name of the animal says, and then it says the sound. So, you know, whatever generic animal says, generic sound, etc. And this one is similar, but just, a, you know, subtly different. So if a cat is sent over, uh, it says this cat's name is c.getName. Now the interesting thing is will the program know? So we need to create a couple of animals to play with. Let's just create a generic animal. Let's just call it GA to save time. Generic animal. GA equals new generic animal. Now remember we have two constructor methods. One that doesn't take any parameters and one that does take parameters. Okay, so let's also, let's then let's print stuff. Um, and say we want to print stuff from GA, right? Pass it over in the method. Okay, so now if we run it, what's it going to do? All right, so the method uh, executes this generic animal's name is generic name, right? Which is the name we give it here, generic name. And then it says generic name says generic sound. Great, which is again what we give it in the basic constructor generic sound, set sound, generic sound. Um, oh, we don't. This is a little bit, well, this is fine, whatever. Okay, the program changed these things when I automatically created the getters and setters. Um, okay, that's fine. Uh, if you don't understand that, just please ask. It does the same thing as the this dot whatever equals the whatever. Okay, so now let's create a cat. And we'll call this one Frank. How about cat Frank equals new cat. And we need to give it some information. So its name is Frank. Its sound is uh, meow. Its movement is stocks. And its favorite toy is, what should we say, ball. Okay, now the interesting question is, um, when we ask this runner to print stuff, will it choose, because uh, Frank is, which one, which one will it choose? Will it choose generic animal or will it choose cat? And we, we created this as a cat, so the best guess is obviously cat. Let's see. Okay, so um, it prints out all of generic animal stuff, and then uh, you can see um, the cat's name is Frank. Frank says meow. Frank stalks around the house. Frank's favorite toy is a ball. Um, because we have this method, this additional line here to get favorite toy, which again is present in the um, cat class, but not present in the generic animal class. Now here's another thing that you can do, and we're going to use this one to explain a little bit more about polymorphism or you know inheritance in this fashion. So animal, generic animal, let's call this mini, uh, equals a new cat. And we can do that because every cat is a generic animal, 
But every generic animal is not a cat, so we couldn't do it the other way. We couldn't say cat mini equals new generic animal. Um, so let's say her name is Minnie, and Minnie likes to say rar. And Minnie's, uh, what does she do around the house? She's getting old, so she hobbles around the house. And her favorite toy is your face because you like to claw, she likes to claw you. Okay, so now, what do you think is going to happen if we say print stuff mini? Which method is going to be called? Hmm. So she's a generic animal, but she's a generic animal that is a cat. All right, so let's see which one gets called. So you can see generic animal still is called Frank. The, the correct method is called for Frank, the one that takes a cat. But for Minnie, it does not use... It does not go to the, even though she is a cat, and we know she's a cat, it does not go down here to say cat uh, and print out all these things. Because Java's compiler uh, chooses the, uh, the superclass in this case. Now, if we wanted to get at the stuff, so like, w what if we did this? We, if we just use mini, um, dot, mini system dot out dot print line, and we're just going to say mini dot get fave toy. So we want to print that out. Well, we know it's a method in the in the cat class, and we know mini is a cat, but Java's compiler cannot trace that. It knows mini is a cat, but it doesn't go down and find that she actually does have a favorite toy. So um, I'm not exactly sure why you would ever want to do this, why you would want to create one this way. There are, I'm sure there are reasons that I just do not understand. Um, if you want to get at Minnie's catness, though, uh, you can just have to call, um, you just have to cast it, cast the name Minnie to a cat object. And now, before it wouldn't do that through an error, um, but instead of just saying Minnie, let's cast it to a cat object here and see which one is called now. Well, I mean, obviously it's going to be the other one. So the cat's name is Minnie. Minnie says Rar. Minnie hobbles around the house. Minnie's favorite toy is your face. Is uh, your face. Um, so uh, this hopefully explains a little bit about um, inheritance in this way, um, and you can play with it to get a better sense for it. Um, so you can develop a generic animal class um, that then you develop subclasses for. The last, okay, you know what, I'm going to cover that in the next video.